Hello, hi again. Today I will show you how to insert page numbers in an Adobe FrameMaker 2019 document. Here we are looking at a simple two column FrameMaker document with no headers, no footers, and no page numbers. Now, how do we insert page numbers? Very easy. First, we go to the master page, and the shortcut is Escape, V, then capital M. That will immediately put us into the master page, which consists of a header area on top, the body area in the middle, and footer area at the very bottom. Now, I'm assuming you would like to place your page number on the footer. So, place your cursor in the uh, footer area marked by the dotted line. And then, go to Insert, Headers and Footers, and Insert Page Number. Now, whatever you place here, this is a variable page number variable. If we go to the body page, escape V, cap B, you will see that we already automatically have a page number on every page. So we have five pages and five page numbers. What if we would like to have the page number read like page, the word page, followed by the number. Let's go to View, Master Page, and go to the first variable, and add the word page. Now, if we go back to Body Page, you will see that all page numbers read page 1, page 2, page 3, etc. Now, what if I also would like to include a total number of pages, like I wanted to read page 1 of 5, so that you will immediately know where you are in the document. Escape V M, and let's scroll down to the footer. I will follow this page variable as space of, now I want to insert the total number of pages. Again, insert, headers and footers, insert page count. Now, FrameMaker automatically keeps track of the total number of pages, so it already knows we have five pages. If we go back to the body page, now you will see that now it reads page one of five, page two of five. Isn't this nice? page 305. Now, what if I want to delete this page so that it becomes 4? Will it still say page 504? Well, uh, let's see what will happen. Let's go to Format, Document, and Delete Pages. Now, FrameMaker will ask me which page exactly I would like to delete. First page is 1, last page is 5. I want to delete the last page. So, I click Delete. It warns me. It says, if you delete this, you can't get it back. I say OK. And now look what happened. Since the total number of pages is 4, now Every page reads like page 1 of 4, page 2 of 4, etc. FrameMaker updates the number of pages automatically. What if I want to reformat the number of pages? That's very easy too. Imagine I want this to, to have a different font. So I right-click. This is just one of the ways of doing things in FrameMaker. 
font. How about, uh, let me see, Adobe Gramont Pro. And how about if I want it a different size, let's say size 14. And I also want a different style. I want it italic. Okay. If we now go back to the body page, we will see that all page numbers are updated accordingly. What if I want it on the right side of each page? Again, go back to master page and I click just before the page and I hit the tab tab key twice. Now it's on the right side of the page. Let's check it out. Back to body page. See, FrameMaker takes care of all these changes automatically and beautifully. That's why I love PageMaker as my main writing and editing tool for technical and business writing. Hope to see you in the next video. Take good care.